The mandatory public service training and certification has started. The four days training, which comes to a close on Thursday, is aimed at ensuring that these ministers can effectively contribute to the country's economic agenda. President Hagainde Hijlema officiated at the launch of the resumption of the mandatory public service training and certification. President Hijilema encouraged employees in the public service to go for further skills and training and improve their qualifications for quality service delivery. This relaunch, this refocus of NIPA is not a thumb suck. It is a conscious decision that we must return to training those that work for the public, sharpen their skills. Learning is a continuous process until we die. This is extremely important, and I personally am enthused about it. But let's make the best out of it. The President also noted that the public procurement laws that were standing in the way of progress have been amended, with some laws still needing to be amended. All the ministers here are members of parliament. You're very privileged that you are members of parliament at the same time you're in the executive because the executive is the custodian of the vision, the mission, and the issues we're talking about. Then you have a rare opportunity to sit in the House, legislative House, to now legislate on the laws, to support that vision. We should sit as missionaries there to say this law is offending that aspect of our vision. So we're going to change it. We have a particular knack to delay things in this country. Just exactly, it's a cancerous problem. And we had to go from cabinet to say, this thing is delaying the progress. This year's agenda is economic expansion, not through, but for job creation, for business opportunities, and finally, for social support. President Hijilama disclosed that government is currently taking quick decisions for investing in energy for economic expansion to support the mining sector. Our revitalization of the mining sector requires substantial energy, maybe an additional 2,000 megawatts. But the cabinet must be alive to these issues, that our talk of economic expansion sits in agriculture, food security, sits in energy, sits in mining, but to open Mingomba project, which is the largest copper find we have, we need energy, like yesterday, to drive the expansion of Kansanshi mine. We've rejiggered it and we've extended it life by 20 years. Then another, which was idle, we've unlocked it, an additional investment of 1.3, 1.5 billion dollars is going. But energy is needed now, yesterday. And Zesco was struggling, our utility was struggling to sign a power purchase agreement because the supply side is restricted. But we, it means we in cabinet must make quick decisions to unlock investment in that direction. With the country experiencing a dry spell, the president had a word of encouragement to citizens. And my appeal to you, despite the poor season this year, don't walk away from agriculture, a sector you've chosen. Let's irrigate. So let's make those decisions. I think that's the way I see a workshop like this. Let's provide leadership. During the launch of the resumption of the mandatory public service training and certification, President Hijilema was the first to be awarded a certificate. Ruth Chainda, ZNBC News, Lusaka.